Hello, my name is Stuart Wright, founder of avforums.com, and this is a short presentation showing you the new data tables feature on AV Forums. So, what I want to do is uh, create a nice table of iPhone 5 tariffs, and I'm going to uh, start by getting the data that I've already compiled uh, in my Excel spreadsheet. So here's some data that uh, I've compiled about the various tariffs available um, for the iPhone 5. And this column here, I've got the, uh, the networks, uh, the type of iPhone 5 here, uh, the tariff, for example, this one's 26 pounds a month over a period of 24 months, the initial handset cost, uh, the number of minutes per month, texts per month, the uh, data allowance per month, and then the uh, total payable over the contract period. So this is quite a nice uh, spreadsheet of information and I'm going to copy this and paste it into a thread on AV Forums for the members to find uh, the right contract for them. So let's copy. So here we are in the iPhone 5 forum. We're going to post a new thread and this is uh, iPhone five uh, tariff comparison table and I'm going to uh, paste in here the table now uh, I'm actually going to go into the uh, the direct BB code editor I'm going to put in table and close table and what I want to do is have the first row as a header. So I'll put equals head. Then within those um, BB codes, I'm going to paste the table that I've just copied from Excel. What I'm going to do is just backspace to get rid of the extra line at the end. And um, I'm going to then create that thread. And you can see that this really nice table has been created with all the data in. Now, a really fantastic feature that we've got now is this ability to filter. So, uh, for example, if I'm interested in just the O2 network, if I happen to be browsing this information, looking for um, the best tariffs, uh, I can just go to the filter and type in O2. And that's just the O2 uh, network tariffs available there. Say I'm only interested in 32 gig iPhone, I can just type in the 32 and it filters down to the 32 gig version of it. Um, say I want to sort it by the uh, cost of the handset, I can click this uh, column here and it sorts it by the cost of the handset. Say I'm just interested in, I want to have a look at the 64 gig versions. There we go. Um, say I want to have a look at um, Tesco and sort that by the size available. And so as you can see, this is a very powerful table tool for putting data onto AV forums. I just quickly want to show you how to create a table by hand. So we'll type in table and we're going to close it so I don't forget later on. And then inside here I'm going to type in row one, column one, then a pipe character which is bottom left of the keyboard shift backslash. Row one, column two, pipe, row one, column three. Just for speed, let's just copy that and hit enter to create a new row. So we're going to create three rows all together. This is row two, this is row three, row two, row three, row two, row three, and let's post a reply here. And there's the table that's been created. Now we didn't put a table equals head, so it's created a header for us saying it's column one, two, and three. If I want to, I can set the first row as the header, and all I have to do is edit and put table equals head and save and that puts the first row as the header row 
and of course um, I can put other stuff in here let's create another row of smileys smiley 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 so you can put smileys in tables if you want say we want to uh, make the text in this table slightly smaller uh, we'll edit it again highlight the whole table and we'll pick a text size of 3 and save and it's made all the text in the table smaller so it's a nice little table feature new in AV forums for Zenforo